Good evening. This weekend storm could bring some much needed moisture to parts of Kevin land, but it may not be enough to reverse the drought conditions created by the mild and dry winter. Uh, Kevin land's Tom Hansen checks in with a local farmer to see how they're dealing with the prospect of another dry year. Any big stuff that we pull, we use that there. Then this is here is our going to be our row crop cat that we plant with. Drew Hugestrat and his brother farm near Lennox. They've also got a hog operation and a seed company. He says if you are a farmer, you can't help but talk about how dry it is so far. But he also knows... A lot can change, you know, between now and April 10th. April 10th is when farmers in his area can start buying crop insurance for their corn. Department of Ag maps show that Minnesota and Iowa are in rougher shape than South Dakota right now. My grandpa always told me, you know, and our family is, uh, if you plan on having a bad year, you're going to have a bad year. So we're going to move forward as much as we can. It's all you can do. And we're going to put all the time and everything we can into the land. Well, if you look at this soil, about the top two inches is pretty dry. Take an old corn stalk, dig down about, about two inches, and I am hitting some moisture in this soil. Hugostrat hopes Mother Nature adds to that soil moisture for his corn crop. So it's so dry, will you be using this? Uh, possibly. 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 He says unless they get a lot more moisture, many will skip tilling their fields. Farmers like Hugostrat say they are in the wait and see mode. Short on rain, but long on hope. Reporting near Lennox, Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. So far, only 10% of South Dakota is considered in a moderate drought. More than half of the state is considered abnormally dry. Well,